Okay, so in this next section of Vectors and Scalars, we're going to talk about how to solve a vector problem graphically uh, using graph paper, a ruler, and a protractor. So you need to make sure that you have your own graph paper to do this, um, and a ruler and a protractor as well. Okay, so here's going to be our first problem that we're going to try to solve graphically. Let 6 meters equal 1 centimeter. A hockey puck is sliding along the ice toward the goal. It travels 36 meters, and then it is hit such that it takes a sharp, instantaneous turn 65 degrees left of its previous direction, and travels 54 meters. How far and in which direction has the puck traveled from where it started? Okay, so then the first thing that we need to do is set the problem up. So, first let's write down um, what we know. So, we know that we have 36 meters toward the goal. Okay, well, 36 meters is going to turn into 6 centimeters. Okay, uh, those of you in my class know that this means um, turns into basically. Um, but remember, 36 meters, if we want to multiply the conversion factor, 1 centimeter over 6 meters, the meters cancel, 36 gives us 6 centimeters. Okay, so we'll do that part real quick. Remember when you're using the ruler, you got to use the side that is centimeters, don't use the inches side. Okay. Draw your line. And here's our first vector. Okay. Now, we're going to do the conversion over here for the next part. Uh, it said we have 54 meters. Sorry, let's label this real quick, 36 meters. So then for the next part, we need to go ahead and show um, the 54 meters. That's going to convert into 9 centimeters. Okay. Remember that's because 54 meters times the conversion factor. Meters cancel. 54 divided by 6 is 9. And then the centimeters that's left over. Okay. And it said that that's going to be at an, an angle of 65 degrees. So remember when you're using your protractor, you need to line the, the inner edge or the outer edge depending on your protractor. But one of the edges needs to be lined up right here along the initial vector. Okay. And then you're going to put the axis, this little dot thing right here, right on the tip of the last arrow. Okay. So now we're going to, when we're going to turn this to find the angle, I want to start on the side that says 0, not the side that says 180, but for this one, 0, and turn it over 65 degrees right there. Okay? And then I'm going to mark that over here, like so. Then I'm going to grab my ruler, and we want that to be 9 centimeters long. So I'll line it up on my two points here. I'll make it 9 centimeters long, like so. And that is my final vector. Okay. So now, the resulting displacement, the resultant, is going to be this arrow right here, from the tail of the first one to the tip of the last one. So I'll go ahead and mark that in a different color so it's more clear. This will be my resultant. And then I'll go ahead and measure my resultant. I'm going to get about 12.8. So resultant is going to be 12.8 centimeters. Okay. Let's call this our angle theta. Oh, I forgot to label this. 54 meters. So then we need to do this conversion here, 12.8 centimeters, 12.8 centimeters is going to multiply that by 6 meters per 1 centimeter, centimeters cancel, come over here, find our calculator, show that 12.8 times 6 it's going to give us 76.8 
meters. So our resulting displacement is 76.8 meters at an angle. Again, I'm going to line, line these sides up with the point right there. Okay. And I'm going to get an angle of just about 39 and a half. So theta is going to equal 39.5 degrees. So this will be my my answer, 76.8 meters long, with an angle of about 39.5 degrees. Okay, so then the last thing that we're going to do for this part is one more problem. Let 20 centimeters equal to 15 meters per second. That's going to be your conversion ratio. Okay. A river is traveling downstream at a rate of 3 meters per second, and a boat travels perpendicular to the shore with a velocity of 7.5 meters per second. What is the boat's resulting velocity? Okay, so I'm not actually going to do the solution to this problem in this video. Um, I'm actually going to do it in a later video when I do it with trig. Um, however, keep your solution around, check your answer afterwards, um, and that's all for this video.